Ladies and gentlemen, The Harry Seacombe Show. And tonight, Harry invites some of his friends from the great film musical, Oliver. Now, those of you who've seen or read Oliver know that Fagin's chief aider and abettor in all his infamous schemes is the Artful Dodger. In the film, this part was played by a young man, for whom already at the age of 15... 15 and a half. Sorry. <laughs> 15 and a half. A brilliant future is predicted. And here he is sitting beside me, all four feet nine of him. Nine and a half. <laughs> Jack Wilde. I'm oh, sorry, Jack, I forgot that young lads grow. So do some old lads. What do you mean? <laughs> I've come down a lot since Oliver, you know. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Anything I can do? What, 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 what? I mean, wait, boy. Oh. <laughs> you little dodger. <clears throat> anyway, um, now you've had this great success in the film, what is your ambition for the future? To make four foot ten. <laughs> After that? Well, what most actors like to achieve. What's that? Um, Rolls Royce, country estate, flat in town, smashing bird. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, <laughs> professionally, I mean, after all, you can act, dance, sing. Perhaps you could give me some advice, Mr. Seacon. Well, I can certainly give some advice. As far as singing is concerned, I'm really glad you asked me. <laughs> no, it's very simple. Oh, it's, it's a question of breathing, you see. Now, now uh, just take a deep breath, right? Hold it. Good breath. Say after me, allegro, con molto, ma non troppo fuoco. What does that mean? Uh, yes. <laughs> hey, well, then it's dancing. Uh, I couldn't expect you to help me with dancing. What? Me? I'm a dab hand at the old hard sock dance. That's a sort of heavy, so soft chew, you see. <laughs> Watch this. Hey, how's That's that? exactly what I mean. Yes, I suppose you're right. <laughs> Ooh. Well, then there's, there's acting, isn't there? Yes, I think we'd better ask Mr Moody about that. Well, if you're going to be like that, you know, and I shall... Oh, no, it's not that. It's just that he gave me a bit of help during the film. Did he? He taught me the value of repose. Repose? Oh, how'd you do that? Well, every time I moved during one of his scenes, <laughs> he belted me round here. <laughs> Terrible time trying to learn those songs in Oliver. Do you I remember? Know. Oh, oh, yeah. Dear. Oh. There came a moment when I was so fed up, yeah. I nearly said to that musical director, you can take your baton and... <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Show me exactly how to do it. Ladies <laughs> 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 gentlemen, Miss Peggy Mount. <laughs> I'm not sitting too close. <laughs> you know, ever since I played your wife in that film, yes. I've felt more, um, sort of... Um... <laughs> <laughs> you needn't, I assure you. <laughs> How about, about, about your singing? Now, I, 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 surely, I mean, it shouldn't have bothered you. After all, you're a great demand to star in comedies on... Stage, screen, television? Oh, yes, Harry, but those parts are all sort of aggressive women. And I'm not like that, Harry. No. Honestly, you know, underneath, I'm all <laughs> soft and sweet and feminine. <laughs> Gentle, cuddly and warm, like a... Like a... Like... <laughs> <laughs> like a giant panda. <laughs> You are so right, Harry, but I'll tell you one thing. If I'd have been Chi-Chi, they'd never have had any trouble with Anna. <laughs> <laughs> Romantic, that's me.